Welcome back. This is a comparison video between Yim Press Collector's Edition of Fruits Basket Volume 10 and Tokyo Pops um, release of Fruits Basket of, for Volumes 19 and 20. Now, um, this is kind of a unique one in that I don't, I, I don't have like any bookmarks in any of these. That's, and I'll show you in a minute, but it's Volume 10 of the Collector's Edition, and these two books are, I think that might be like the rare one. I don't know. I'll we'll have, we'll have to find out about the next volume, but this is. This is really weird because this is the only volume, volume 10 is the only volume that actually has it to where you have Kakeru and Machi on the Tokyo Pop versions and then you have Kakeru and Machi on the Yen Press versions, on the Brian Press versions. It's, it's really weird that that's how it ended up being. but And that's because um, Kazuma was on volume 18 of the Tokyo Pop version, but then they moved Kazuma to volume 11 of the Yen Press version, so it's, they mix match, but this is, volume 10 is the only one where the covers match, it's kind of strange. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go through the things that are missing slash different, um, which really isn't much, so it's, it's just mainly things that are missing. So you have um, the waking up in the morning page, the table of contents, the story so far, the character introductions. And then again, they're doing this random thing. They're just at the back of this page. They just have a random pan picture from the panel, one of the panels. Um, and that's really about the, now the majority. And the reason why, because like none of the um, none of the filler sketches are out of place, and there's no additional pages. And that's what I mean by it's like they're basically identical. And that's because the majority of both. 19 and 20 just basically do this where they end the, they end the chapter and it goes right into the next chapter. That's how the majority of um, 19 and 20 are. Uh, so then the end of 19 you have the the thank you page isn't there anymore. It's because there's a new thank you page. Um, maybe for the next volume. And then this one has like a doujinshi? Do how do you say it? It's like a fan art type story in it. It's kind of weird. Um, and then it has, um, that's about it besides the previous or other Tokyo Pop series. Um, and the same thing you said with Volume 20, where it's just the waking up in the morning page, um, the table of contents, story so far, and then the character instructions, and then a random page. And actually I think this is a cover, one of the chapter covers, this one, that one's case. But again, it's all just, it's a constant thing of it's, it ends, I think this is one of the, yeah, it basically, it, it, yeah, it's just, it's constantly towards like it ends a chapter, I'm fine, actually, one actually, it ends a chapter, and then it goes right into the next chapter, actually, funny, let's see, let's see, let's see cover from the next, that chapter. It's, the majority of the volume does that, and even the ones that do have the, um, the filler sketches in it, it still does the, it still has it in the exact same place. They don't go anywhere. So it's just kind of weird. That's how it ended up being. Um, then in the back of the volume, you have the thank you full page. Thank you page, because of course there's a new one. Um, another panel from the manga. Uh, the preview for the next volume. And then just Fruits Basket more fan art and such. And then previews for the Tokyo Pop series. But really, that's really about the only thing that's different. Um, because, I mean, even if I go back this way, and then find, like, see, the, even that, the, all the, all the, um, filler sketches are still in the same place as they were, as I showed, showed you previously. Um, but, like, there's no, like, one of the big things that was, in, that was constantly showing up in the other volumes is that there's always, at the end of a chapter, there's always, like, there's always, like, some, like, extra page right here, but there's not. This is, volume 10 is literally, like, the only one where it's like, eh, yeah, no, it's it's the exact same the entire way through. There's, all the filler sketches are in the exact same place, and there's no additional little pages, so it's, it's kind of weird that that's how it ended up being. Um, but, I mean, it, it works. It's just very unique, because I don't think... I mean, I'll find out with Volume 11 if they do that, but so far Volume 10 is the only one that has done it to where it's like, yeah, the covers are the exact same as they are in the Tokyo Pop version, and the um, there's all the filler sketches are in the exact same place, and there's no additional little extra pages that are in between the chapters for that just have like random like art on them. 
Um, but that's really about it. Um, so I'm going to be doing volume 11 next, along with volume um, 21 and 22. Uh, so that's it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.